Well, we just finished up with filming RV Unplugged and first time boonucking for a long time and we got a leak. And so when we went to go pull out, our entire underbelly it was full of water. So I don't know if it's our fresh tank or what that was leaking, but I had to drill a couple of holes in the, uh, in the membrane here to leak all that water out. And uh, I drilled a couple of holes in there uh, about three, four minutes ago. And it's still that steady stream of water coming out. So it was full. I started checking uh, behind the, the Nautilus system. I checked all the lines there, all the lines going to the kitchen, all the lines going to the bathroom, and all the lines behind the washer. And I didn't see any water anywhere. So somewhere from maybe the connection where the fresh water goes to under the island or goes to the fresh tank, uh, may have had a leak when I was filling it. We have a leak somewhere. I'm probably going to have to drop this skirting and uh, take a look in there. I do have one of the fiber optic cameras. So either I will run it up through one of these holes that I already drilled and see if, what I can see in there. Or I will take this uh, skirting off just a little bit and uh, see if I can get a look in there. If I can't get a good look without taking the whole thing off, then I will try to use the fiber optic camera to go in there. But we have a leak somewhere. And... Uh, I mean, you can see the whole time I've been talking, this is still leaking out. So it was probably leaking the entire time we were out there boondocking and shooting RV Unplugged. So, all right, here's what I got going on now. A yeah, squeaky door going on, apparently. I need some WD-40 on that. But um, <clears throat> pulled the underbelly down a little bit and looked in there. And I could see there was lots of water. Drained it all out by drilling the holes in there. And... Since we've been hooked up to city water, we haven't leaked. So it has to do with something from the fresh tank to the water pump. It's either where the water's picking up from the tank to the pump, or somewhere along the way, or where the fresh water connection from the tank goes to the pump. Now I look behind the Nautilus system and the pump is not leaking, so that's not an issue freshwater tank now I just put about 20 gallons in there and I'm going to take a look in there to see if it is actively leaking without the pump on I'm not sure how well you can see in there but there's no active dripping I can't see anything actively dripping but you can see where the water line is and it, where it runs downhill and pulls up and there's a little bit of water that's pulled up right here I'll just pull this skirting down and let that drain out but back there is where the fresh tank connects to the PEX. Unfortunately, it's on the other side. I'm going to take the skirting down on that side to get a better look at that over there. Well, there's some places that I just can't see. I can't get into. It's too tight. And so what I've done is I've got this industrial endoscope, which basically has a screen, has a cord with a camera. So I can run this up into places that I can't reach. And the end is lit and has a camera on it so i'll be able to see on the screen problem is, is it when it twists and turns it's like flips upside down but it can run along the side of the pipes and i can at least see where fittings and fixtures are where i can't get into because there's there's an area where the pipe from the fresh tank goes all the way up to the nautilus system there's no obvious leaks behind the nautilus system and i'm going to turn on the pump and see if i can see dripping in there if i can see dripping in there I can use this to get closer to it to see what I need to see. Here's what I'm talking about. This is what I can see and you see this core. It's pretty long so I got lots of lots of space and at the end is this uh, camera with a light on the end of it and as I move this around I'll be able to see what's going on inside the, uh, the bay there. I'll just run this down into like crevices and alongside pipes and hopefully I'll be able to see where the leaks coming from you might feel a little pressure This has been really cool. We've used it several times 
and I was able to see a lot of the lines in there. I couldn't show it on camera because it was just too much to try to run that and show it on camera. But this thing's really cool. We got it on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. So it's really cool for you know pipes, wires, stuff that you can't see, can't get to. Well, I couldn't see anything with just the tank. We got some water in it. Pump off. Doesn't appear to be leaking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it to dry camping mode. Because of the drip pattern, it's all been pooling up down here and I was able to see on the other side when I pulled the skirting off I was able to see the connection where the PEX connects into the fresh tank and it's not leaking from there and it's dry up the hill up here so it's leaking from somewhere down here and so the only thing that I can deduce is that it's coming from somewhere up there because you can see one of the lines comes from the freshwater tank side and runs up there and there is some insulation up there I don't see any dripping right now but I'm thinking that maybe that you gotta wait until that insulation gets saturated before it's dripping down here I, I can pretty much isolate it though I because the, the puddles are, are right down in this area right here and so then it ran down that way and pu and pulled up down there but there's no there's no lines down there there's no water lines down in this area so that's just where the water was sitting that's not where it originated from and because it's dry up the hill up that way it has to be in this area right here so it almost has to be coming from up in there I just don't know how to get to it well, I think I got it. I came back out and this puddle right here that I had drained was back full. And you can see there's a line. There's a line of water coming from over there, running all the way over here and back and filling this puddle back up. So it's coming, it's originating from over there where the PEX plugs into the fresh tank. I didn't see it when I looked over there earlier, but now I can see the water line running down. So it definitely is coming from over there. And so I'm gonna go back over on that side and see if I can get a closer look from that side. I think I found it. Showing the origin of it. I can see where it's dripping off the fresh tank. We gotta find out the origin of it. There's this little part that's plugged up with like some tar looking stuff. And I think it's coming out of there. Right there is the culprit. That is the problem. Right there, I think it's where one of the sensors is plugged in because you can see some wires. And it was running down there and then dripping off the tank. But right there where you see that little blob of tar. And to the right of it, you can see where the water's been running down. And it caused a little bit of a stain there. And, uh, yeah. So I gotta put some sealant around there and see if that works. It's gonna keep leaking as long as there's water in the fresh tank. So I need to drain the fresh tank. Make sure that once I drain the fresh tank that the leak is stopped because there's no water in there to leak. And I guess it only leaks if your fresh tank is over a certain level because when I had only 20 gallons in there, it wasn't leaking. Um, it's the first time we've had this leak and we filled up our tanks completely for RV Unplugged. So that's why. Uh, and I just, it wasn't leaking after 20 gallons. I put 20 more gallons in. So at 40 gallons, it is leaking. So I'm going to empty it, dry up that area where it's dripping, make sure there's no other leak coming in there. I'll put some sealant around that area there. Wait about 24 hours and then I'll fill the fresh tank back up and see if it's still leaking tomorrow. I got it mostly buttoned back up now. I um, did leave that one little opening open. I didn't seal it up yet. I'm waiting on Alliance to get back to me. Let me know what type of sealant to use. I only want to do this one time. Well, I figured out what to use for sealing up the fresh tank, but I'm not going to do it today because the place that we're at, we're only here for a couple of days, but you can see it is just dirt. And I don't want to be laying down in the dirt. And I think the next place we're going to, it might be dirt too, but I don't know. I'll take the risk. 
because this it rained last night and I'd be having to lay down in this dirt trying to get up under there to fix this tank and uh, I just really don't want to do it the place that we're at right now is actually our home it's our home that's like on our driver's license this is escape east park in bushnell florida and so this is our address but we've never been here before it's crazy because we've been on the road for about two years now using this address and we've never been home <laughs> so this this is home and i'll show you something that happened to us yesterday which was really unfortunate this has never happened to us before but I guess as we were driving down the road, a piece of trash, and I think it was an ice bag, stuck to the tailpipe of the truck, wrapped around it, and then melted. And I don't know how to get that off. So if you know how to get this off, I ripped off all that I could rip off. There's some underneath there that I ripped off, um, but for the most part that stuff is really melted on there and I don't know how to get off so if you know how to get it off leave us a comment and as soon as we get to the next location I'm gonna fix the fresh tank and I'll show you exactly what we're gonna use to do it with all right it's time to fix this fresh tank and Alliance told us what we need to use is this this is JB weld plastic bonder they suggested black, but the only thing I could find at Walmart is the tan color, so it's going to look like I'm smearing baby shit all over the tank, but cosmetically it's not a big deal. It's under the back of the RV, up under that belly, so you're never going to see it anyway. So we got that. I have some alcohol. I'm going to use that with my rag to clean off the area, and then I have to have a little bowl, because when you take this syringe and squirt it in the bowl, I'll give you a little... Uh, popsicle stick in there you're supposed to stir it up and then you put it on the affected area which I'll do I won't be able to film that because it's really tight up in there I can barely get my hands up in there so but I will you've already seen them before and then once I get the JB weld on there I will show you what it looks like while it's wet and then about 24 hours from now even though it says it um, it bonds or it sets in 15 minutes and you can sand it in 30 minutes so it's dry enough to sand it down so half hour it should be good but i'm gonna let it go for 24 hours anyway but i'll show you what it looks like with it in there wet and then tomorrow around this time i'll show you what it looks like after it's all dried up then we'll put some water in it tomorrow and test it and see if it's fixed well it is an absolute mess in there just because i had to use my hand to get that stuff up in there and then i got a handful of jb weld and it's hitting wires and cords and stuff on the way in there knocking a little bit out of my hand it's, it's running down my hand because i have to go up like that to get it in there first before i turn it and then try to smear it around that seam and as i'm smearing it, it's just dripping everywhere so <laughs> it is a hot mess in there hopefully i hit around that seal enough to to get it good because i only got one tube of jb weld and i just used it so if I didn't get it good enough, um, we'll try it again tomorrow, but hopefully I, get, I did. All right, let's check the old JB Weld. Oh, that's a mess up there. Let me feel it though. Let's see what it feels like. Oh yeah, that is solid. I think that's going to work. All right, we got the JB Weld on there, and uh, now we just gotta fill the freshwater tank. We'll fill it uh, past that sensor. Make sure it's not leaking, so that is gonna take a little while to get past that two-thirds full. All right, let's get back up under here. We got the overflow coming right there. That means the tank is full. And so now I'm gonna look up in here and check on our JB Weld and see if it's leaking inside there or not. Well, I'm basically an RV tech. I find a problem, I run it down, I fix it. That's what I do. <laughs> Look, that's exactly what happened. I figured out there was a problem, 
I ran it down. Well, and I, I figured it. out there was a problem when water was pouring out of the bottom of our RV. So you're basically a tech also. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, happy to report that the JB Weld held. Yes. And the leak has stopped. Yep. And we can now put fresh water in our tank without having to worry about filling up the underbelly full of water. Winning. And we still have the two drill holes there just in case. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> just in case. But there was nothing down there to damage, so nothing no, really got thankfully. hurt. And we had time to sort of work on it, and it wasn't leaking. Hooked up to city water, which is great. So yeah. um, worked out pretty good. Mm -hmm. And the JB Weld only was like eight bucks. Yeah. Eight dollar fix, man. Sweet. I like yeah. cheap fixes. Better than calling a tech out for hundreds of dollars. <laughs> Yeah. And then they're going to go, oh, man, yeah, your whole sensor's messed up. Which is the, normally what we would have done. Yeah, the threads on your thing where it plugs in are jacked. We're going to have to replace the whole tank. Okay. It's going to be about eight, 900 bucks. <laughs> and I, we would have gone, okay. All right. <laughs> I prefer the $8 JB Weld. Exactly. Works out good. Yes. That stuff holds good, man. Yeah? Yeah. And you ain't getting it back off. No. Wherever you put it, that's where it's at. Yeah, be precise. Yeah, which I wouldn't. Of course not. I've seen your ceiling. I could barely get my hand in there. So it was like, you know, I had, and it was blind. So you get your hand in there, you can't have your, you can't look and see. You can do one or the other. Uh, so I had to get a handful and like reach up there and slather it on. Hope I'm hitting the right spots and you're tripping all over the place. And luckily, it's all hidden by the underbelly. Thankfully. Because you'd be like, Unlike your sealant job is not hidden. Why are you bringing up old stuff? Because <laughs> it's still a problem. All right, anyway, the problem's fixed. <laughs> we'll talk about my sealant off camera. <laughs> but hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is right down in the description mm -hmm. of the video. Appreciate you watching. Me and RV Tech, give me a call. <laughs> Don't. See you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.